Take one DJ controller. Start playing. Mess around with your mix. Mix something else in. Nothing unusual there, right? We've done it lots of times. We're all DJs. But what's really unusual is what's powering this DJ controller because I've got no DJ software at all on that computer. Instead, we're running Beatport DJ Public Beta. It's a web-based DJ app like Serato, Recordbox and Tractor and so on, but that works with Beatport Link, Beatport's streaming service. It works on Windows, Mac, even iPad at a push, and it runs completely in your browser. It's got MIDI, sound card support, auto mix, the whole Beatport link library, and your playlists and purchases. In this video, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of this. I'm gonna explain what it does and what it doesn't do. And I'm gonna show you how you can jump on, beat, beat, beat on Beatport DJ right now, because this has just gone into public beta, because that means anyone can have a go at this. So if you find this useful uh, and you enjoy what I tell you about this app, please do follow, subscribe, and share. Right, so let's get started with talking about this app. Now, the first thing Beatport says, is this is not meant to replace a normal piece of DJ software but I'm gonna tell you it does get close. They're saying it's useful for things like playlisting, like music discovery, and then once you've discovered new music on Beatport, which as we're gonna see, the whole Beatport link library is plugged into this. As soon as you've discovered the music you want and made playlists with it, you can put cue points on those tracks and so on. You can then take those playlists into your normal DJ software because a lot of DJ software works with Beatport, Beatport Link nowadays, which is again, their music streaming side of the beatport.com website. So Serato, Recordbox, uh, Algorithms DJ, Virtual DJ, and so on. These have all got this streaming service built in. So that's the idea. It's not meant to replace DJ software, but it does get quite close. So it's a good way of practicing your sets in a browser. Before we look in a bit more detail at some of the features, the most important thing for me about this piece of software and why I think this is gonna be revolutionary is it's so much more fun than using beatport.com. Beatport.com is, is a, it's a download store. It's, a, it's an online store, it's old hat. It's been completely overtaken by the, the fun of using a streaming service for discovering music. It's horrible and clunky to use compared to Spotify. And it's now been completely eclipsed by the new software. The new software that we're looking at here makes the Beatport library better than using Spotify, better than using Apple Music, more immersive. It leapfrogs all those services, especially with this incredible auto mix feature here, which I'm gonna show you in a minute how that works. In other words, it completely takes what Beatport.com has got and turns it into something that is genuinely useful for DJs. And I think this is very, very exciting. So let's start by looking at it and let's look at the DJ features first at the top here. So to start with, we have, let's start that, start that, uh, that track is just loaded there playing. And we've got our filter. I've shown you some of this stuff already in the little intro. You've got your lows, mids and highs. Now you've got a gain control. Some controllers don't have a gain control on it. Obviously you can see you've got your cross fader and your up faders there. Uh, you've got cue points. So I can start to add cue points onto my tracks. These are gonna come across into your DJ software. It's got beat jump. It's really nice and useful for when you're just auditioning tracks and so on and practicing mixes on this thing. It's got full effects here. So you've got this whole set of effects, this is incredible. Remember this is all running in your browser. You want proof, let's get out of full screen there. It's all just running in Chrome. So I'll go back into full screen because it's, uh, it's nicer. So we've got our effects here, we've got slicer, which is tied to a filter, there's a filter up. Filter left and right for low pass and high pass and up and down is your different slicer modes. Uh, we've got reverb. Picture. Break. Echo. 
crusher. That nice eight bit. Bit crush effect. Flanger. Reverse. Really nice the way that reverse feature works. You can hear it keeping all that on the beat, but giving you that kind of track playing backward thing. And blower. Uh, this is basically your noise effect. Now it's got loops. Full on looping here. And it's even got, incredibly really, beat gridding. Go in here and you can adjust your beat grid on your tracks. Remember this is all running in your browser and you've got your zooming in and out of your waveforms here as well. Now that stuff's quite incredible really when you think about it. It's a full on piece of DJ software but there's more to this than that because this has got some features in that make it uniquely useful when you are plugging it in as it is to your complete Beatport uh, link library. Now Beatport Link, which is the streaming, as a, again the music streaming side of Beatport.com, carries most of the music that you can buy on Beatport.com. Not all of it, but most of it. So let's have a look now at how those music features work. So here I'm looking at a playlist I made, which is some um, techno from uh, the last decade. But we can move into our Beatport library here. You can see we've got Beatport's top 10. We've got our DJ charts down here. Everything's clickable. So I can click on uh, the tracks, the labels and so on, and I can start to look at their top tracks. Uh, I can look at feature tracks and releases and so on from, uh, in this case, we're looking at this Big Beat Records label. Uh, so Discover is very powerful for just literally what it says, discovering stuff. And it's, it's kind of, it never ends. It keeps going down. There's always something more to find. Uh, so at the bottom here, it's, it's, it's suggesting genres to us to listen to. Talking about genres, there is a genre tab at the top. You can put your... Favourite genres here by putting a star by them. So if I wanted to add breakbeat to my favourite genres that, that appear here, so I can quickly get into the genres again. Featured, top 100, playlists, track feed, release feed. Uh, really immersive way of finding tracks. Uh, and then your own collection here is here as well. So the stuff you've bought on Beatport is available to you here as well. As are your playlists. So I can create a new playlist here, give it a name, and I can start dragging tracks into this playlist that I've just made. And as I said earlier, these tracks are going to appear in my DJ software when I load, in, for instance, in Serato, when I load up Beatport Link in Serato, this playlist I'm making here now is going to start appearing in Beatport Link with these tracks in it. So again, this is designed to be a music discovery and playlisting service with the, the ability to DJ up here as well. Now, auto mix, I think, is one of the key things about this software because, again, it's not designed to replace real DJ software. It's designed to help you discover stuff on Beatport.com or more specifically the tracks available on Beatport Link. Let's have a look at how it works. When we click Auto Mix, it will put us into this view here and start playing. Now this is playing the first track in this list and then the other tracks in the list are here. You can see it works in a kind of cover flow way. We can still see the waveform of the currently playing track but we can quickly jump around if we want. I can jump to uh, this track here by clicking Mix Now, and it's gonna jump into the next track and start mixing that one in for me. Uh, I can, here we go, here's uh, the new track playing. I can skip tracks. And again, it will get its blend nicely done between those tracks for me. I can click Shuffle. I can even auto BPM, which will allow it to change the BPMs to match between the tracks or just stick to a BPM of my choice that I can set here. It's a great way of auditioning your music on Beatport that really hasn't been done before. Uh, and in itself, it makes this app awesome without taking over and actually DJing with it, which as we've seen, is also pretty fantastic. So we've looked at the library, we've looked at the DJ features, we've looked at Auto Mix, just to show you how powerful this software is under the hood. And it's just blown me away, honestly. I, just, I was looking at the features under the hood that we're about to look at and thinking, you know, is there anything they haven't included? I couldn't think of much, to be honest. There is a settings tab at the top here. So I'll click on settings and we'll have a talk through some of the things that you've got here. So here's the currently logged in Beatport account. Uh, so our options, we can auto play when the songs load, we can uh, stop accidentally loading onto a loaded deck. We can have key lock locked on. 
uh, we can have the track sound like a piece of vinyl stopping when we stop the track playing. Uh, this is the, the auto BPM we've already had a look at. Uh, there's a full screen auto mix as well here. Uh, so this allows you to keep the player in view when you're auto mixing. Uh, so in other words, it looks like DJ software, but it does auto mix. Uh, you can tell your cues to be quantized. Uh, you can reset the EQ when you load the tracks. I mean, this is all stuff you find in normal DJ software, isn't it? There's even an isolator mode on the EQ. Now, Serato doesn't even have that craziness. Uh, so audio, this is another thing that this has got. It can work with either a splitter cable or it can work with multi-channel sound cards or an external mixer. In other words, you can use this with your existing DJ gear in a sound card, you can use this with a controller and its own sound card, uh, or you can just forget the headphones preview and just play it through your laptop. Again, there's more variation here than you find in a lot of your what's called pro DJ software. Uh, moving down, so there is soon to come, remember this is in beta, a desktop shortcut so you can load your software from the uh, desktop via an icon rather than uh, be it being in a browser. So you can pretty much hide the fact that it's in a browser. Uh, and now here's MIDI. We were talking about MIDI. Uh, I've got a MIDI controller right here in front of me, which is working. It's working okay with this. You've seen me scratching with it. Well, at least moving the track around with it. You've seen me using the filters and the EQs and so on. Uh, the performance pads here actually are controlling the loops at the moment, but that can all be figured out in the MIDI editor here. So you can see here the MIDI editor for the DDJ200 that's plugged in. And here are my pads, which are all currently controlling the loops, but I could switch those to cues and so on. Uh, the MIDI mapping is necessarily pretty basic at the moment, but hey, it works. We've got MIDI mapping on here. Again, how incredible is it that that's here at all in a web app? Now, this isn't the only web DJ app. I thought, I've seen this before, and indeed I have. There's an app called UDJ, which it turns out the Beatport app is actually based on. It's been developed from the UDJ app. There are a few things you need to know about this. So the first and the biggest one is you need a Beatport link subscription to do this. It's free for 30 days. When you first launch this app, it, it invites you to try, try it for free for 30 days, but you do need that. Uh, as I said a couple of times, it's not fully featured. It is close. I'd like to see key sync or key shift on there, but hey, this is running in Chrome browser. Talking of browsers, it only works with Chrome. So I've got this running here in Chrome. It only works with Chrome and with uh, Microsoft Edge, which apparently is pretty much working on the Chrome engine anyway nowadays. Uh, it can't be guaranteed to work particularly well in other browsers right now. One really big tip, by the way, you can use tunemymusic.com to bring Spotify over. If you've got loads of Spotify playlists, you can bring them over into Beatport and have them here. Uh, and uh, in, uh, in a test, about 80 to 85% of like a dance music collection from Spotify came straight into Beatport. So if you've got loads of music in Beatport, you can now bring it across into this app and have it working uh, pretty much straight away. So certainly most of that music. It's blown my mind, to be honest. It's an awesome, incredible first beta, and what a great idea. There's a few things I'd like. I'd like to see a back and forward button on the browser, because you can move around so easily here between different DJs and charts and genres and collections. Uh, there is this kind of like back button there, but it kind of stops. It kind of takes you to home, and that's it. I would love to see a proper back and forward browser button like you have on a real browser, so that when you're moving around in music and you're getting lost down a rabbit hole, you can move back again and find out where you were. Uh, I would love to see a photo version of this. Wouldn't that be cool having this so you can do all your playlisting and stuff on your phone? I mean, I'm sure they must be working on a mobile app. I think that would be game set, set and match for this app. And look, just one other thing which I say every time we play with Beatport because Beatport is underground electronic music. Beatsource, which is a basically carbon copy of the technology behind Beatport, is mainstream open format major label music. Underground electronic major label mainstream. Nowadays, people are listening to everything. I think there's an artificial divide there. I would love to see both of those apps rolled into one. Now that of course means a lot more business-wise for that company than what I just said. But look, imagine if you could log into what we just looked at here and have all the world's music, all the best electronic music and all the best mainstream music all in one place. I just think that would be absolutely brilliant. But that's kind of wishing for the future. Right now, you can try this Beatport DJ uh, at dj.beatport.com. Uh, head over there, uh, sign up, get your 33 days of Beatport link uh, and have a go. Uh, I think if you're a beat source link DJ, I think you can pretty much rest assured it's going to be coming to you pretty quickly as well. Uh, but for now, it's uh, the best way 
of navigating, shortlisting tracks from, playlisting tracks from the Beatport store. And by the way, you can buy them as well. You can click in there and it'll take you to the Beatport store and you can add them to your cart and buy tracks as well. If you just want to go and use this for discovery and buy tracks in the old way, you're not quite ready to throw the towel in with owned music and do this all with a streaming service. But that's Beatport DJ, the public beta. We've only been playing with it for an hour or two. We're really, really impressed with it. Uh, and if you want to know more, then head over and look at the written version of this review, of this first look review on digitaldjtips.com. I've been Phil Morse for Digital DJ Tips. Hope you've enjoyed this. Now get good, get out there, make the moments, and I'll see you again very soon.